Hi, my name is Govind. I'm the president of Gradient. So my passion towards the sustainable tech sector started about 17, 18 years ago when I learned more about where water is used. Most people think that water is used for drinking purposes, but uh, water is actually used for things that we interact on a day-to-day -day basis. From the food we eat, the beverages we drink, the clothes we wear, the gadgets we used, and most of all, the medicines we take when we're not feeling well. So when I realized an important data that more than 50% of water is used for industrial purposes, um, I made a commitment to myself that I should be involved in an organization that can make an impact to reduce the water footprint of these industries. Gradient and Singapore in many ways uh, mirror a uh, common background. Both started from humble beginnings to becoming one of the most impactful in the global stage. Since its founding in Boston uh, about 10 years ago, Gradient has grown leaps and bounds in not just implementing our technologies to various customers to becoming global and more importantly uh, becoming the world's first unicorn in the clean tech industry. An important milestone for us is to establish the innovation center in Singapore that we are in here today where um, our customers can actually see the uh, functioning of our technologies before it's being implemented at scale. As most of us know, Singapore is home to the semiconductor industry and semiconductor manufacturing per se produces one of the most complex wastewater where not all waste streams are economically viable to recycle. And that's when Gradient's technology, when deployed, was able to generate more than 80 to 90 percent uh, of recycled rate of the waste stream which truly benefited the customer in terms of their sustainability footprint but more importantly reduced their water consumption which they had to pay to withdraw from the municipality. All right. Okay, am I a morning person or a night owl? Let's put it that way. I used to be a night owl but since I had children I think I was forced to become a morning person. Next. Uh, truth be told, I'm not a big fan of books. Uh, I do read papers, so I'm a big fan of Straits Times and Business Times. If I had a superpower, it would be to go back in time where uh, people could actually interact without devices and less technology that is not necessarily communicating with people. Uh, I'm a big fan of nature, so my dream travel destination would be to go to the African safari, more specifically the Serengeti National Park. I follow two sports, cricket and F1. So I follow the apps Crick Info, ESPN Crick Info and F1 app. Complete the sentence. Innovation is. Innovation is, in my view, a trifecta of the three I's, where ideas can be implemented to create impact. So EDBI has been a very, very integral partner of Gradient. Interactions with various groups of EDBI, not just stops at investment, but also interaction with the entire ecosystem that we have in Singapore. Right from industries that, that can be potentially customers to suppliers that can also enhance our supply chain. Most importantly, uh, interfacing with the regulatory boards in ensuring that we are able to drive policies that are truly impacting to the environment. We have an exciting future ahead at Gradient. Our aspiration is to become one of the top five environmental clean tech companies in the world. And as such, we'll focus on three things. First, we want to be able to increase our global footprint where we are accelerating the deployment of our technologies to customers around the world. And two, we want to um, increase and accelerate our advancement in innovation, more specifically artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning, where we are, our technologies not just treat the water, but are also able to optimize the operational expenditure. Third is the ability to, to identify parallel applications of our technologies. Just about a few years ago, uh, we communicated the use of our CFRO technology in the production of lithium. We see more and more of these similar parallel applications in recovering precious minerals, um, carbon capture, 
and other areas where we could not just make an impact on water, but also on the environment as a whole.